I've uh, been building my uh, model of the Endeavour for a little while now and I'm up to the rigging. I've made this gadget that has helped me quite a lot. It's just out of some of the wire that was supplied with the kit. Uh, I used a part of the yard arm and drilled a hole in it. Made this bit of wire with that hook on the end and on the other end uh, I just did a little hook like that. It has helped me enormously in getting this uh, rigging done. Uh, because uh, some of the other ways I saw seem to be all fingers and thumbs. You can see the size of it there, about uh, 20 centimetres from one side to the other, and it seems a good length for me. Now I'll show you how I do the rigging with it. Alright, so we're ready to go. I've tied off uh, my first piece of rigging rope onto the rigging, and I'm just using my to push the rope through and then we make a little knot by doing this over and under knot. I found out how to tie this on the internet too. So there's plenty of good information out there for first time shipbuilders like myself. So there's my first knot done there. I'll fix the camera up a bit. Go. All right, and going through it again, I've got a little bit of uh, paper, copy paper behind there just to make it easier to see what I'm up to. As you can see, rather than using fingers and thumbs, this tool makes it easy to make your knots without too much hassle. And you can get through the rigging fairly fast. So there we go. Do another knot. This could be a fairly tedious process if um, you're doing it with just fingers, I imagine. I'm not sure what other people have used. Um, I'm not even sure where I got the idea for this tool. I might have seen it on the internet, but I think I eventually just made it by myself. So, anyway, I'm not trying to steal anyone's idea. I'm just trying to show this idea for anybody else who might find it helpful. Alright, so you can see I'm just about all the way across. I can tidy those up and make them nice and straight later. There we go, just around we go. And slip that through there. Over and under. And through, pull it tight. It could be a little bit better, but anyway, I'll fix it later if I need to. Here we go, we've got all through from one side to the other. Not sure how long it's taken, but it's not too bad. Oops, I mucked up the last one. Here we go, through it comes. And then pull it tight, snip it off, and it's all done. Here we go. So that's that, and you can see that that method has worked fairly well um, on the rest of the ship. And I'll just take this off here, and you can see where I've done it on other parts of, of the ship. There, there we go. I've used the same process to do these. And it's worked quite well, and it's. I think saved my sanity a little bit. All right, over and out. Uh, I hope that is of some help to other shipbuilders.